Just give me five minutes. Look, you don't have to put a time limit. You've been around here long enough. You know me, and I know you. And whatever it is you want, you can rest assured the answer's no. <laughs> but that ain't fair, Mr. Jefferson. I ain't even had a chance to ask you about my pension plan. Pension plan? No, you can throw that out your mind. Huh. Well, what am I supposed to do when I'm old and gray and I can't work no more? You should have thought about that five years ago when it happened. <laughs> Now leave me alone. I'm trying to watch television. Oh, no. Now we're gonna talk. Mr. and Mrs. Willis has got a pension plan. You and Miss Jefferson have got a pension plan. What about me? What have I got? Crow's feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'd scalp you, but nature beat me to it. Somehow, I don't think you two settled this. It's settled. Oh, it ain't no use, Miss Jefferson. I ain't got no pension plan because your husband ain't got no heart. Lawrence, where's my breakfast? <laughs> George Jefferson is unfair. He's short with no hair. <laughs> Wheezy, honey. Sweetheart, would you get my breakfast? <laughs> oh, the silent treatment, huh? Well, look, Florence, that sign ain't gonna do you no good. Why, ain't I holding it low enough for you to read it? <laughs> look, Wheeze, deep down inside, despite this pension thing, you still love and respect me, right? <laughs> See, well, in that case, I guess I'll have to have breakfast with my friends, the Willises. A guy should have good friends, and the Willises are good friends. Yeah. So, Unfair! <laughs> well, I might as well skip breakfast anyway. I could stand to shed a few pounds. Well, I hope you can keep up with the way you shed your hair. <laughs> Look, Florence, okay, so you're not gonna get my breakfast. Could you get my paper? Well, I guess I gotta call my only friend in the building. Mm. Oh, Ralph. Hey, look, grab me a paper, will you? Look, I don't care if Zsa Zsa's on nerve. I need a paper. Thank you. George, when is all this gonna get through that brain of yours? Everybody thinks you're wrong. Your friends are picketing the hallway. Everyone is against you. Wheezy, I think you're exaggerating. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> See, George, doesn't all this tell you something? Yeah, it tells you the pointy toe shoes are back in stock. <laughs> Florence, you get this. Mr. Jefferson, sir. That was quick. <laughs> I flew here on winged feet, knowing I was doing a favor for you, turned me into a virtual Hermes. Yeah, well, I don't care what you got, just don't give it to me. <laughs> now, the paper. Right here, sir. Oh, well, uh, now then, Mr. Jefferson, I actually, I can't give you this. You see, although I admire you as a great and generous person, uh, Florence's strike must have my complete sympathy and support. After all, striking for a better lifestyle is as American as apple pie. All right. Here's a buck. Out of my way, commie. <laughs> hey, what about all the sympathy and support? I'm sorry, Florence, but a friend's a friend and a buck's a buck. And frankly, my friend's always been a buck. <laughs> well, here's 20 bucks. I want you to destroy those picket signs. And by the way, there's an old lady running around here with a picket sign. I want you to give a swift kick for me. Oh, I couldn't do that to an old lady, sir. Here's five more. Then again, I don't discriminate against age. 